So we've been using a lot of functions lately, uh, stuff like SP set, you know, the things that have the take the numbers behind them and then they magically transform those numbers into whatever you want. Well, you can make your own, uh, you know, they're called functions, you know, sometimes I call them commands and uh, it wouldn't necessarily be wrong. Let's see, it starts out with uh, DEF that defines your function. You put the name after that of your function. And you're going to want to keep this name short because you're going to have to type it out in order to call the function. Now calling the function is basically like in place of wherever I put FUNC, you know, wherever I put function, you know, then it's going to go back and it's going to read what's inside this function. And it's just going to, it's going to print yo. And um, functions, of course, you know, they can also take parameters. In this one, I have made it add the two parameters that you put in there. I just put one and two in there. So anytime this runs, it's going to return three. And I put print in front of it, so it actually prints whatever it returns from our function. <clears throat> and I just made, you know, the simple, if, uh, if A button is pressed, then do the you know, the first function, and if B button is pressed, then print the add function. So I press A, then I press B, then press A, then press B, press A, and press B, press A, press B. Okay, you got it. But yeah, it's, it's pretty simple, and uh, I'm going to start using these a lot in our tutorials. I'm going to start just kind of making libraries of functions that you can use that you don't necessarily have to understand what's in them they could just help you w with your own personal programs just by calling those functions that way you know all you have to do all you have to know is what the functions do you don't actually have to know anything that's going on inside of them you have to you, all you have to know is just what to put in these little parameters over here